Didn't I accept it? You know what? So working from home also means eating at home, which is why we are here today with another episode of Cook From Home. Want to eat? Can go out. How about you cook from home? It's a show where I recreate famous dishes from TV shows and films. And for today's dish, we're gonna recreate the famous Krabby Patty from the show SpongeBob SquarePants. Oh! So even after 12 seasons, the recipe of the Krabby Patty is still unknown. It keeps changing. So we are just gonna visually dissect this Krabby Patty right here and make our burger accordingly. So there are several ingredients to this Krabby Patty. We have minced meat, hamburger buns, cheddar cheese, slices, onions, we got tomatoes, we got iceberg lettuce, and finally we got mustard, pickles, and ketchup. At the end, I'll rate this dish based on its price, difficulty, the time it took, and finally whether you should cook this from home. So without wasting any time, we're gonna take all these ingredients and push it over there! And if an amateur cook like me can do it, so can you. Alright, so first off, we shall settle our meat. A lot of people might be intimidated um, when they receive a chunk of minced beef. Basically, they don't know what to do with it in order to make burgers. Which is why today we're gonna do something called a smash burger. You just gotta roll them into balls about the size of your palm. This is more or less what we're looking for. We're gonna straight away season them with salt and pepper. Before we start cooking them, we're gonna prep the other ingredients just a little bit. Wash your cutting board. You're gonna need a slice of white onion, tomato, and your iceberg lettuce. Finally, we gotta cut up our hamburger buns. Now that we're well prepped, we can finally begin cooking. I would need my stove to be on very high heat. We are gonna drizzle some olive oil as we wait for the pan to heat up. Let me explain to you how a smash burger works. Now it's just two steps. Place the ball of meat onto the pan and then smash it with both your spatula and something to press onto it. So this meat is gonna cook for about a minute and a half or you can just gauge um, by looking at whether the edges starts to turn brown. In the meantime, we're gonna caramelize our onion. So just place your onion right beside your patty. It does not get any more simpler than that. You roll your meat into a ball, place it on the pan, smash it, and then we flip it. I think that my patty is ready to be flipped. Grab your spatula and this is how you flip. Don't forget to flip your onions too. Right before we take the patty out, take your buns and then just place them right beside your patty. While you do that, take your cheese and just gently rest it onto the patty. Now the buns cook very quick, so just flip him over. And just like that, we're gonna assemble our Krabby Patty. Number one, we get our toasted bun. Next is our patty. Oh, that looks good. Grab the tomatoes we sliced earlier, caramelized onions, pull your lettuce on top. Just rest two nice little pickles. SpongeBob uses both ketchup and mustard for the sauce. And lastly, a very crisp top bun to top it all off. And there we have our very own Prairie Patty. Just look at that. Mm. I will not let you guys just take my word for it. I'm gonna let one of my siblings try this out. So that's it for today's episode of Cook From Home. The price adds up to around $20 and is able to serve 5 Krabby Patties. It is impossible to get this recipe wrong, so it deserves a 1 star difficulty. I took a good 10 to 15 minutes to cook me a burger and at the end, Spongebob better watch out because there's a new fry cook in town. If you're bummed out that your McDonald's have closed, this is the recipe for you. I'm gonna enjoy this burger. So, see ya!